Savon, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. Savon, when do you usually get the baby? On weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savon. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait till Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. Brian. Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? So who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve. But I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions. Because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. Take it back right now. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute. You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks and you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela, bitch, you know who you yelling at. All right, now you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is I supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? The hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie. Okay, you haven't seen him. Okay, thank you. Shit. Grandma, put out an Amber alert. Brian, who the fuck is Amber? I don't want to put that bitch in my business. It's a missing child alert. It will notify people in the area that he's missing. Brian, are you stupid? I'm the one who dropped him off and I don't even remember where. Well, I've contacted all his friends and they said they haven't seen him. Oh, shit. Tamika comes back next week and Kyrie needs to be here. Wait, Grandma, you haven't told my mama? Grandma, he has been missing for three weeks now and you haven't told your daughter? I ain't scared of her. I am. Brian, you are not helping the situation, okay? I don't want to hear about me having to come clean to your mama. I want to hear about how we can find Kyrie. His location. My mama makes us turn on our location so she can see where we're at. You mean your mama has his location right now? Oh. I'm 
sure she does. And she has not said shit to me because? Grandma, if you know your daughter like I do, we both know that she is timing you on how long you have taken to tell her that Kyrie has been missing for three weeks. She already knows. And she has not said anything because she is waiting to see who is going to say something to her. Well, help me come up with a lie. Um, He ran away. That's what we're going to say. He ran away. What do I get out of it? What the hell do you mean? What do you get out of it? I'm already meeting a little boyfriend. Let him come over this weekend and stay the night. All right, done. That's great, but unfortunately, we are not done. How are you going to justify the timeline on why you didn't tell my mama? Oh, that's too much. It's too much. It's too complicated. I, my brain can't function. I don't know. Grandma, here's what you're going to say. You know that she is under a lot of pressure, and you are already actively searching for Kyrie. So you didn't want to add any more pressure to her life. If you thought that Kyrie's life was in danger, you would have said something to her. I mean, it could be in danger, but that's what you say to her. Oh, so you mean I have to actually act like I give a damn about her mental health? I like that. I, I like that. See, I always knew you was the smartest grandchild. No, you didn't. You're right. You're right. No, I didn't. Tammy, what's up? What do you want, little girl? I'm on the move for you. I have an anonymous tip for you. Oh, Kyrie? No, it's about Carmen. That's not Savan's baby. Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail and her mama didn't want her taking care of the baby by herself. So she decided to pin it on the last dude that Carmen slept with and that was Savan. <laughs> Versace, you must have a lot of time on your hands. The only person giving my son a sibling is me. And I knew that bitch was lying. So they falsified a DNA test. Ha! I need receipts so I can throw it in a mama's face. Say less. Grandma, what about Kyrie? Oh, that's gonna have to wait. That's gonna have to wait because I need to blow this up in front of Carmen and her mama. And once Tamika finds out that she ain't gonna be a grandmother of two, all her stress will be gone. She ain't even gonna be worried about Kyrie and where he at or where he's been. Okay? Grandma Tammy saves the day. You don't love your life. Tammy, I am done waiting. Where is Kyrie? So now you're hard of hearing. I gave you a week to find him and you have not found him yet. I gave you a week to die and you are still alive. Tammy, where is my grandchild? Yell at me again, and I'm going to empty this clip on your ass. Kyrie is with his mama. That is all you had to say. I'm just going to call and verify. There are 10 digits in a phone number and 13 bullets in this magazine. You will not be able to complete the call. I also know you're an old woman who ain't trying to get thrown in nobody's prison. And the only reason I haven't come over there and tapped your ass yet is because of that gun. But you ain't shit without that gun. Come beat me up.
Hello, Tamika. I know you've been away abandoning your motherly duties, but while you've been doing that, I thought you should know that your mother dropped my grandson off three weeks ago at an unknown location and she has not found him since. What are you going to do about it? Hello? Does that have to hang up on me? She hung up, which means she's on her way back to Texas and you're in big trouble. Where you been at, boy? Grandma, you left me at the casino in Las Vegas three weeks ago. I had to call my mama to come get me. Now, you a damn lie. I didn't go to no casino. I dropped you off at one of your little friends' house, and you ain't never came back. Tamika, who you gonna believe, me or Kyrie, who lies every time he opens his mouth? You incompetent, selfish, irresponsible, disappointing, lying ass. Now, wait a minute now. I'm still your mama. And you have sucked at it ever since I was a child. I was a fool to leave my kids with you. Mika, I wasn't in no damn Las Vegas. Kyrie was, so how the hell did he get there? Oh, well, shit, I, I don't know. Kyrie, how did you get to Vegas? Grandma, now you know I love you and I know I'm your favorite, but I found it hard to believe that you don't remember. Your friend Carla, remember it was her birthday. You didn't wanna, you didn't wanna miss it, but you don't wanna leave me at home alone with Brian and Savon. So you took me with you, but then you forgot about me the next morning and left me at the Airbnb. I had to call my mama and I've been with her ever since. You left Brian and Savon alone? Brian, how were you getting to school? Oh, grandma took me out for a week until she got back. So you took my child out of school for a week without my authorization. How was he going to get to school if I was supposedly in Las Vegas, Tamika? And I don't like how you talking to me right now because you damn sure can't whoop my ass. I'm your mama. Okay. So instead of you complaining, say thank you for me watching your kids while you wanted to go have a mental break. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that to this day, you are still a sorry ass excuse for a mother and a grandmother. Oh, and another thing, whose black Mercedes is that parked outside of my driveway? Mine. Hmm. You have an estimate of $5,000 left in your bank account. So who did you screw to get that Mercedes? None of your damn business, girl. Mind your business. Hmm. And you, you haven't been asking me for any money or Savon. Why is that? I got a raise at work. You work at Rainbow. You and them Rainbow bitches get paid $4 an hour and you're part time. So unless you're taking cash out of the register, you a damn lie. Okay, I cannot put two and two together right now, but I will. And for y'all's sake, I hope there are no more surprises. Savon, Carmen is getting induced this weekend, so make sure you are at that hospital for your second child. Yes, ma'am.
Is there something you want to say? No, she good. When did you start speaking for her? Tanika, you are so ungrateful. I took care of you, your brothers, and your sisters the best way I could. And y'all are still alive and breathing today. Your kids are alive and breathing today. I might not have been the best mother or grandmother, but I did the best I could with what I was given. Are you done? Or is there more you'd like to bitch about? You left my 16-year-old son in a state where he could have been God knows what if I didn't show up on time. So I don't give a damn about your struggles as a mother and what it turned you into. You know what, you disrespectful heifer. I'll let myself out. And stay out. I will. Oh, bougie ass. I can't believe I gave birth to your selfish ass. You don't treat your mama like this. You also don't leave your teenage daughters home alone with the man that you've only been married to for three months and barely knew. But you did. Oh, you know what? I'm tired of hearing that shit, okay? You waited until you were damn near 41 years old to cry about it. That man is dead now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Get out of my house and take your sidekick with you. Gladly. Come on, Versace. I'm glad to have you back, Mama. Glad to be back. And y'all will never leave my sight after today. Oh, hell no. Nah. What are you doing here? My son's real father lives here, and it's his weekend, so I'm dropping him off. Mommy, tread lightly. Because if I recall, you sold your soul for $5,000. So don't you even think about messing anything up today. Such a cheap little bitch. Carmen, don't get beat up with that newborn in your hands. You touch my daughter or my grandchild, I will slit your throat, you hood rat bitch. <laughs> you Taco Bell nacho grande eating bitch, I will put my hands on your daughter, that newborn, and you. Required in here. I noticed that she went at the hospital. Did I get your daughter pregnant? No, but he is your grandchild. Mm. Let me see him. He's very pale right now. Yeah, he needs some color. Oh, all babies are pale when they first come out. Hand him over. Let me take a look at my new grandbaby. Oh yeah, he real Mexico. He will grow into his color. Hmm. Versace, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Oh no, that was not a part of the agreement. Interesting. Savan, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Um, no, I don't want my son around that baby just yet. I don't know what kind of germs that baby got from his mama. <laughs> you are so pathetic. Mm, Versace. I thought we were making progress. What happened to the growth? Why wouldn't you want Louis to meet his little brother? Versace, you gotta let whatever you holding on to go. You are now baby mama number one and there is a number two. Deal with it. Anyways, I want all of us to get along. Now that our grandchild is here, there's no reason that we should be fighting. Carmen and Savon, you both should get your own apartment and live together as a happy family. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is my grandson. How does that sound, Tamika? I think that sounds amazing. I'll also arrange for a family photo shoot for Carmen, Savon, the baby, and Louie.
Ma, you're doing a little too much right now. I don't think I'm doing enough. I think you and Carmen should get married. <gasps> Brittany, are you okay? What happened? She said she wanted some more money because she is broke. Do you need some more money? Oh, you bitch. Interesting. I think y'all's wedding should be in Paris. I feel like seeing a Paris wedding. I'll pay for it, of course. That's not the boss, baby! Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail. She goes and see him every week and her broken English ass mama pay Tammy 80K to keep her mouth shut and then Tammy threatened me if I said anything and then gave me $5,000 or fuck you to me because you never forced the bond to marry me or offer me a parent's wedding! It's not true. I'm not, I don't know where she got that information from. One of y'all can reach out for him and I hand him to you or I can just throw him at you. Carmen, you are the biggest hoe I have ever met. I knew that baby looked a little too spicy when he came out. You watch your mouth when you talk to my daughter. Marisol, I need you, Carmen, and Lil Caliente to get the hell out of my house. His name is Kalante. Whatever the fuck it is, it's not my son's. I didn't find out until the last minute and I didn't know what to do. So I just went along with it. That may be true, but you still paid my mother 80K to keep her mouth shut. Let me explain. You seem like a very good mother who takes care of her kids and her grandchild. That man that my daughter is pregnant by is never getting out of prison. And I don't want her to have to raise a child by herself. Like me. I don't give a fuck. I would have found out eventually when the baby started to look like Uno Stos Tres. What is my daughter supposed to do? Go straight to hell. But in the meantime, I suggest she make an appointment with the local wig office. Hey, see, I ain't no dumbass bitch. <laughs> I'm really a smart one. I knew something wasn't right. And I may not be able to put two and two together right then and there, but I always put it together. You thought you was gonna trap my son. One thing this little mental break did for me was teach me how to use my words and not my hands. With that being said, Savan. Let me walk y'all out while my mama is still allowing y'all to. It's Saturday. They got visitation at the prison today. Go show that man his baby. Thank you for letting this happen, Tamika. Shut the fuck up. Okay. The only reason it is happening is because Genesis wanted it to happen. So what do you like to do for fun? Turn your back the fuck up because you jump in a place that he did not give you access to. Genesis, ask your first question. Why'd you give me up? I, I was 20 years old. I was in college. I wasn't fit to be anyone's mother. And you still aren't. However, I thought I was doing what was best for you. You did. See, I knew you would understand. So, What's your favorite food? And you can continue doing what's best for me by continuing to stay out of my life. 
damn. Damn. If you are not fit to be a mother then, what makes you fit to be a mother now? I'm only 37 years old. I can learn how to be a mother. Well, learn with your next kid because you lost your opportunity with me. Genesis. What do you really want from me? A chance to be your mother. My mother died. You were there when I buried her. I do have one final question for you, though, Aunt Tanya. Can you please not call me Aunt Tanya? That's who I've always known you to be, Auntie. Who is my biological father? I've never had one of those growing up. It feels so good to spend Christmas alone. I mean, I got rid of everybody. The boys are with their daddy. Travis is in Chicago. <sighs> this year has been hell for me, and I deserve some alone time. Shit. I might even keep everybody gone until next year, because I am tired of everybody and their shit. But right now, I'm at peace, and I'm going to enjoy this day. I can't believe you have me standing out there that long. It's cold outside. Well, I wasn't expecting company or Jimmy. Going into the new year, I decided that I want us to be a real family again. And I realized that that, that starts with me. Could you start somewhere else, please? I realize that I have been a horrible mother. And I realize because of that, some of you have done some unspeakable acts. So have you, mama. But I love my kids. Ma, I would like to get back to my family. Do get to the point. Ugh. No more lies, no more secrets, so I'll start first. Tamika, I am sorry. Mama, you're drunk. Yes, and I'm also the reason that Michael left you. I introduced him and Karen. Okay. You got any secrets for me, Tamika? Well, wait. Uh, how could I forget? Um, I do hate you. But you know what? I don't think that's much of a secret. I have a son. We all know Genesis is yours by now, Tanya. Tell me something I don't know. That's it, mama. Is it? You see, I never bring Jimmy around, let alone do I come to y'all's houses for Christmas because I have my own life to live that doesn't involve my children. But I got a call from my grandson, Brian, and he told me that he was grounded for a year. Tough titty. He also told me about an argument he overheard between you and Tanya about who Genesis' father was.
Would you like to hear about what your son did at school today? Or did you want to continue working on your MacBook? I'd rather keep working on my MacBook, but you've already initiated the conversation. Your son has been missing his classes. Okay, have you spoken with him? Why do I have to speak to him, Terrence? He's your son too. You know, it's okay to put your work on hold to help discipline your child. My work pays all the bills in the house. And mine doesn't? You put groceries in the house. You pay a couple utility bills. Let me know when you start paying mortgages, car notes, medical insurance, you know, real bills. <laughs> It sounds like being the head of the household has become too much for you to handle. So how about you step down and let me step up? Oh, okay. I'm going to call Ethan down here and I want you to address your son's actions, Terrence. Ethan! Yes, ma'am. Your father and I would like to know why you missed two classes today. Daddy, can I use your credit card? Chantel, not now. Me and your father are in the middle of talking to your brother. Okay, mom, and the conversation can continue while I ask my dad for his credit card. Here you go, sweetheart. Terrence! Aren't you forgetting that this is the child that spent over $5,000 on clothes? I don't see the problem with giving my daughter my credit card that holds more than enough funds for her to complete her purchases. Now give my baby my credit card. What do you need it for? Stuff. You have enough stuff, Chantel. Well, clearly not, Mom, if I'm asking Daddy for his credit card. Okay, well, you're not getting it. Now go to your room. Daddy! Do what your mama says, baby, or I won't hear the end of it tonight. And daddy would like to go to sleep tonight. Thanks for the backup, Terrence. Back to you, mister. Why did you miss your classes? Ma, my car won't start. What is your mama supposed to do about your car not starting, Drew? Fix it? Wow, Terrence, where is this type of energy when it comes to Chantel and her car? Chantel ain't in here crying about her car not starting. I'm not crying, I'm talking to my mama. Okay. <laughs> what you gonna do about his car not starting, Ava? Drew, you're gonna have to wait until I have my brother look at it. No, you won't. He gonna take it to a mechanic shop and have it looked at. Dad. How do I get to the mechanic shop if the car won't even start? Use your brain, Drew. You got roadside assistance. Call them. All right. He doesn't have any money for all that, Terrence. Then maybe he shouldn't have a car. Come on, Dad. I got it spelled. Shit. For what, Christian? They drug tested me and uh, it came back positive for marijuana. Excuse me? Hey, look, Mom, I got you covered. I'll ground myself. No TV for a week, no outdoor activities, no friends. And no phone. Oh, no, no. I can't let you have that one. Dad, I need my phone. Where'd you get the marijuana? Uncle Tyrone. Your brother. Get out of my face. I can get out your face with my phone? No, give it here. Daddy, can I talk to you in private? Christian! Mom, I'm grounded. I'm not supposed to be outside my room. Bye. I need to go shopping. Well, then can you leave Daddy's credit card? No, I cannot. Ask your daddy for cash.
Yeah. Oh shit, am I late? Tara, I need you to take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm Tara, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm going to ask you again. Take it down a couple of notches or it will get real aggressive around here. Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes. Yes. Tamika, because he is a male, he should have sat there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, Mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're going to tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Sarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama. I wasn't doing nothing nasty. He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my... I, oh, 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 I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. Kyrie! Dad, can you tell Carter to stop putting the toilet seat down after he's used the bathroom? Kendall, your brother is sitting right there telling yourself. Carter, stop putting the toilet seat down after you use the bathroom. You should be condemned for making such request. It's a toilet seat. I know you have trouble comprehending what is being explained to you, but the seat goes down. It goes down for what? Are you sitting when you take a piss? There's nothing but men in this house. It doesn't need to go down. It needs to stay up. Sometimes I wonder how we are related because you lack basic human decency. You're disgusting. You're vile. You have no morals or home training. I don't have time to be lifting the toilet seat up when I need to take a piss, Carter. Kendall, I am not interested in hearing about your process on how you relieve yourself. Because I am far more intelligent than you and because I am older and wiser than you, I will no longer be engaging in this appalling conversation. Dad, get him. <laughs> Get me for what? You're upset because, like any other normal human being, I put the toilet seat down because that is where it belongs. You rather leave it up because, let's be honest, you cannot aim properly. I can aim! You have urinated on the rim of the toilet seat, behind the toilet seat, and on the floor. You aim everywhere else but in the center of the toilet seat. Kiss my ass, Carter! Tell me something, Kendall. Where do you place your ass when you need to take a shit? Do you sit on the rim of the toilet or do you lift the seat down? 
based on the temper tantrum you are throwing, I'd say you don't know where to be seated. Dad! Kendall, what's wrong with you lifting the toilet seat up, son? I don't want to put it down. Okay, do me a favor. Take this conversation to another location. Before I go upstairs and I take that entire toilet out the bathroom, then you ain't got to worry about if the toilet seat is up or down. Because there is no toilet. Kyrie, this shit is getting old. We are two days into the school year and your ass is already getting expelled. Mama, I do not like Roosevelt. Send me back to Judson. Did you forget that you got expelled from there too? Start taking some accountability, Kyrie. I am not an accountant. I don't have a degree to process accountability, let alone count. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. You're not about to give me no damn heart attack, so your little ass can rot in alternative school. I know how to get kicked out of alternative school too. Oh my God, where did I go wrong with you? The better question is, where did grandma go wrong with you? I am my mother's child. Hey twin. Savannah, I thought I told you I didn't want to see you unless you had my money. I didn't gave this girl another $200 for child support. Where is the original $200 I gave you? I spent it on Shay. You spent my money on this walking lace front? Yes, he did. Since you're forever crying about not wanting any more grandkids. Savon, do you not know how to pull out? Damn! You have managed to get every girl you've been with pregnant and my dumb ass keeps giving you money. Mama, I thought you would be happy. I am disgusted. The person that needs to go to the clinic is your ass for a damn vasectomy. What is that? Permanent birth control for that ass. Don't let her do that. They gonna cut you. Bitch, don't be telling my son what to do. I will do that. I'm his girlfriend. I can tell him what to do. You hold no weight in this house, bitch. I am his mother. I will tell him when to piss and shit. You just lay back when he tells you to. Kyrie. Since you think you so bad, you gonna do your little time at alternative school. But when you get out that bitch, your ass is going to Sam Houston High School where them kids come to school with razors in their mouth. You bad. Let's see how long you last there. I did not see that coming. Savon, you're getting snipped first thing in the morning. Hey, mama. Oh, Lord Jesus, Brian, do you really want to test it too? No, ma'am. I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday. And this weekend, I'd like to take you to Olive Garden to celebrate. Thank you. Just ever since you were little, you have always been the first child to tell me happy birthday. You know, Brian, you have just become my favorite child again. Thank you, you have made my day. In the midst of all this bullshit with your brothers, you have made my day. I'll go ahead and let you have him this weekend, Tamika, and then you can have him next weekend as well. So you don't see me standing here? Does that work, Tamika? That's fine. You're eventually gonna have to communicate with me about my son. As long as you are broke living with your mother and she is paying child support, I will not. He's still my son. Biologically, yes. Mentally and financially, no. I'm here every time you drop my son off. For like an hour and then you're off with whichever hoe this is. My name is Shay, I didn't ask. But you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe. Would you prefer the term slut or whore? Girl, how many times have you been pregnant? I'll wait. Ugh, oh, enough. Versace, thank you for stopping. Tamika, your son gave me chlamydia. Mm-mm.
I didn't give you anything. Saman, I've only been with you and only you. That was months ago, Carmen, and I've only been with you and Shay. I stand corrected, whore. Tamika, I'll go ahead and go. I see you have a bunch of STDs on your hand. I'll see you this weekend. So Brian, what was all that shit you were talking on Facebook? You were saying something about cousins sleeping with cousins and I feel like that was directed towards me. You quiet as a mouse right now, but has so much fucking mouth on social media. And now that I'm here, you ain't got shit to say. I don't be talking about all the shit you be taking up your ass, but you have the audacity to talk about me and other family members. What I do with other family members is my business. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. Say something, I'm gonna throw this water on you. playing with my top, Brian. Ain't nobody playing with nothing. How you mad at my friends for being loud? I don't want to hear you and your friends laughing and screaming at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. Just like I don't want to hear you taking down somebody's daughter every other night. And keep your friends away from my door. Why are they knocking at my door and playing? Now, I'd be wrong if I open that bitch and knock somebody out. And you would have got jumped. They played a little knock-knock prank. Get out your feelings. Keep them away from my door or all of y'all getting fucked up. You clearly ain't gonna do shit. It just happened. And what did you do? Brought me in mama's room to cry about it. I'm letting you know in front of mama that if it happens again, I'm dropping you and your friends. So drop us. Brian, keep your friends in your room where they cannot visit anymore. Okay, and tell him to keep the hoes out of the bathroom we share. You ain't controlling a damn thing around here, especially who comes in and out of my bathroom. Let me catch a hoe in that bathroom and I'ma lace her ass up. These bitches are out of bounds. They are out of place. Keep them in your room. Keep your RuPaul's drag face ass friends in yours. Half my friends are females and won't give you the time of day. Have several seats and some water. I don't want to hear this shit. Y'all both bring unwanted problems to me and expect me to fix it. No, I'm going to give them right back. And you know what? Neither one of you can have company for the rest of the month. Nobody coming in my damn house. I'm in here trying to watch Waiting to Exhale. Y'all know how I am about my movie. Do not interrupt. Is there a fucking reason you're on my porch? I'm sorry, I, I saw that there were lights on in this house and I just wanted to see who, who, who moved in. You thought now was the right time to do that, it's late. Is it late? Oh, I didn't realize, I thought it was still daylight. Um, but who am I speaking with? Karen? Karen, get your ass off my porch! Get your motherfucking ass off my porch <clears throat> right now! Get your ass off my porch! Get off! Tamika Jackson. Yes, bitch! Yes, now get your ass off my porch. Who let you in this neighborhood? I let myself in this neighborhood. Now get your ass off my porch right now. Bitch, what the f Get off! Get your ass off my porch!
I can't remember the last time I seen all my children in one room. None of you even bother to answer the phone when I call. Answer the phone for what? All you do is ask for money. Or a ride when you have your own car, but don't want to waste your gas, but want to waste everybody else's gas. Hey, not too much on my mama. Not too much on the underage females, Tommy. Or your nieces. Tell me, why are we here? I am dealing with a lot right now, and I don't have time to sit here and listen to your kids argue. Your kids? So you're above us, Tamika? Terry, shut up! I am above this. And you know I'm the wrong sister to be trying to argue with. I will air your shit the fuck out. Again, Tammy, why are we here? When did I become Tammy? That's your name, isn't it? What do you have going on that is more important than what I'm about to say? You see, I have kids that I'm actually a mother to. And right now I'm dealing with their poor decisions in life. But I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. I just prefer not to deal with you or your bullshit. Mika, what happened now? <laughs> Brian got a girl pregnant. Brian? I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, I thought he was the gay one. He is. You know who else is gay? You're twin boys who also think that they're Disney princesses. I get it. You're a single mother who is divorced, has no man, can't get a man because you're always angry and bitter. I'm married, happy, and I understand. Your wife weighs approximately 600 pounds. God almighty. You have to put bricks under y'all's bed because of her oversized back. The last time you slept with her, she tried to climb on top of you and sent you to the emergency room for broken ribs and a crushed lung. Are you still having trouble breathing? Fuck. The only person I shared that with is you, Tara, so clearly you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. How's Tarika? Did she ever find out who her baby daddy was? Tamika, I told you that in confidence. Right, you did. And he made me share it publicly. See, my nephew got him somebody pregnant. I knew he liked him some coochie. I'm proud of him. Mama, why are we here? Ah, it's been a minute since we argued. I feel like starting some shit. Tanya, tell Tamika that you slept with her ex-husband. Tanya! You slept with Michael? Tamika, no. I would never do that to you. He slept with me well after y'all's divorce. And I told him that he was wrong for that. Like, how could you sleep with your ex-wife's sister? Tanya, how could you? He slept with me. It's the same thing, you bitch. No, it's not. He came to me. You could have said no, Tanya. It's not in my vocabulary. I love men. I am a whore. And I get it from my mama. You like this shit, don't you? Seeing us argue and be against each other. You like that? Y'all have been arguing since y'all was kids. And I am tired of trying to stop it. So when y'all are ready to hear what I have to say, let me know. Tanya, you are insane. You want to know what's insane, Terry? Your wife being banned from every buffet in the state of Texas because she decided to wipe one out in Houston. I mean, she cleared out the entire restaurant and then had the audacity to ask the employees to fill up more food trays. I mean, bitch, how about you throw some of it back up? Fuck. Another thing I shared with only you, Tara. You did. And it's my fault for thinking that I could share your business with our sisters in confidence. I won't do it again. Y'all keep going. I love the abuse. Shut up, Tommy. You are literally the youngest and the dumbest. And mama's favorite. Mama, don't forget that Tara and Tamika slept with your ex-husband, Earl. Did you know that Earl was your real daddy and told mama to get rid of you when she found out she was pregnant with you? You look lost. She never told you that Earl was your real daddy. No. Oh, Tamika. What are you talking about? We all have the same daddy. You sound crazy. Our father died before your ass was conceived. Mama, she's lying. Tell her. Tell her she's lying. Oh, Tammy, you look hurt. 
Go ahead and tell him that the man that you accused me of Tara sleeping with was his real daddy. And also tell him that he never claimed him or loved him. You know what, Tamika? You are your mother's daughter. Whether you want to accept it or not, you and me are just the same. I have stage three cancer. I do hope that little information brings y'all all together. Have a good day. Brian, your mama said she went that homework done before you go to bed. Travis, my mama did not say that weak ass shit. You just wanted a reason to come over here and threaten me. Right now, you're giving me a reason to ground your smart mouth having ass. On what grounds do you think you can confine me to my room? Oh, well, let's see. I, I pay the mortgage in this house. I'm taking care of everybody in this house. So, yeah, I can ground your little ass. Okay, you sprinkle change around the house. Big deal. It does not give you the power to open your mouth and speak to me. <laughs> Brian, do I look like the type of stepdad that's going to go back and forth with the stepson? No, I'm going to just call your mama. My homework will be done before I go to bed, Travis. 10-4, that's a good copy. Savon? Travis? I know you ain't got no job and shit, and you know, you, you, you broke and living off your mama and shit. So I took it upon myself to get you a couple interviews lined up at uh, 7-Eleven, Sefco, and Chevron. Are those gas stations? No, they're restaurants, dumbass. What do I look like working at a gas station? Oh, I don't know. A man with a job? I'm not working at no gas station. Then I'll get your mama to kick your big grown ass out the house. That's one less mouth I gotta feed. My mama ain't gonna kick me out. Oh, but just the right amount of dick, and I can get your mama to kick all three of y'all out. Keep playing with me. Yo, Travis, is there a reason you didn't come pick me up from school today? Curry, don't nobody gotta pick you up from school, boy. You ain't no damn kid. You're a teenager, capable of taking the bus and walking. Okay, bitch, and wait till my mama found out I had to walk home. And she's gonna ask you why you didn't take the bus, stupid. I'm done with this conversation. The last stray dog my mama brought up in here, me and my brother sent his ass back to the pound. You'll be next. Travis, all you have to offer my mama is back shots and money. <laughs> and all y'all have to offer y'all mama is a headache, a stroke, and some damn grandkids. I wonder which one of us she'll get rid of first. My mama ain't choosing no man over her kids, Travis. So, well, let's talk about the type of kids that Tamika Jackson has. Her oldest is a bum with a kid that she takes care of. Her middle child is gay, and that alone is a bit much. And her youngest child is the most disrespectful child on the planet. All three of y'all should have been swallowed. Wow. I can't wait to tell my mom the shit she said to us. And I can't wait to lay her down and make her forget. Now finish that homework, little motherfucker, before I send your ass to a gay conversion camp. Yo, Travis, don't get too comfortable in this house. You've only been here a month. Savon, I'm so comfortable. I ate y'all snacks in the pantry. I'm so comfortable. I'm going to talk to y'all mama about claiming all three of y'all on my taxes. You can't claim me. I'm 19. With no pot to piss in. Savon, you can't even claim yourself. Shut up. Who's next? I hate you. I hate you too. All three of y'all, as a matter of fact. Kyrie, if you got any homework, I suggest you start doing it now. I ain't doing shit. Kyrie, I will break your PS5. Do I look like a back and forth stepdaddy to you? Shut up!
Savon, you will show up to these little interviews or you will no longer live here. Travis, I will beat your ass. I tell you what, I'm gonna rip all the TVs in this house off the wall and break them if you say any other word besides yes, sir. There goes my queen right there. Hey, baby. Oh, no, 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 I'm chilling. They good, they just sitting here getting on my nerves and shit. I got Brian and Kyrie doing their homework and Savon about to look for some jobs so he can get the fuck out. <laughs>